like. We're going to check out its entails, see what's inside the ship and how much we can store in there, and every every type of thing. We're going to check it out from the, in great detail. So let's have a look at the ship, and we've got the shipyard, we got the caffeine and the catheter in. All right, we're ready to go. We streaming? What's cracking? And uh, welcome, or as always, to the channel once more. Okay, so we have here in ship transfers, we have the McCrat. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Is it called the McCrat? Oh, here it is. Have I got it? Okay, I've got the McCrat. Here's the crate. MK2. I just got it. Literally just now. So that's amazing. So let's check out the top speed here. We got 244 miles per second. Is that it? Miles? We got boost speed at 335 miles. Um, welcome to the channel. And <laughs> here we got hard points. Lots of hard points. We got like three 2Bs in 2D uh, for the for the mining laser rail gun. I've already sort of bulked this. Let, let, hang on, let's just get it out of storage real quick. And we'll open it up. Use this ship. Okay. Here we go. Look at this thing, guys. It's amazing. You got to see inside the cockpit. Uh, has a really good view of hey, space. Hey, it's Louie. Hey, Louie the Fly. What's cracking? Louis Knight PSVR, everybody. It's in my bud. Um, so yeah, I got a new ship, man. Check it out. You can. I don't know if you can see just yet, but you can see through the ground. You can, and you're like, yeah, that's, uh, you can. Hey, you know what, guys? I can't see through the ground as much as I thought I would. Hang on, let's go out in space and see what it looks like. Let's go to starport to surfaces. Sup, guys. Thanks for joining, bud. Uh, what's cracking, guys? This is my new ship. It's the McCrat. Hit like button and share. Thanks. Yeah, well, we have a few technical difficulties here. Hang on. Sorry, guys. The phone's just making Yo, noises. LSD. I'm not sure what it's doing. Alright, let's have a look at the outfitting. Thanks for joining. I'm just going to open up the Stop chat with. and see who's here today. Look at that ship. It looks like a hot mess, but I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like in space. We got the core internals here. We got a lightweight. We got one. We got a seven power plant. We got a six E3. E, six E thrusters. Five C frame shift drive, which I'm actually going to update and upgrade. So let's uh, make that a five A if we can. What do we got here? Yes, we do have a five. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. It goes from 13 light years straight up to 17 light years just with one uh, click of a button. So let's whack that in real quick. We have to get some chemical processes as well in order to upgrade this ship at its highest. We've got 7E power distributor. How about we get a 7A? Why not? We, we can't get a 7A, but we can get a 3A, which allows us to go 19 light years. That's actually not bad. Most advanced technology. Yeah, this is crazy. This is the most advanced... Thanks for joining today. I'm Sarah from 190. Don't forget to smash that like button. Lewis the Knight is the first one to do that. He's always the first, and therefore the best. I really need to get a space game for VR. You're late, Doom. You gotta do what Lewis does. Get here early, mer. You're lucky I saw that comment, man. I'm so famous. We got the Doom 66 in the house. Welcome, buddy. The amazing S LSB. Welcome, welcome. Yes, this does really could do well with a VR. It could really do well. You know what? We're going to store that just in case I made a mistake. So, yeah, let's get a 3A power distributor. And now we can travel 19 light years straight up out the bat. So that's not bad. It's not good either, but it's not too bad. we got 6E sensors. We can't change those. No stock for them. We got a 5C fuel tank. How about we see what else we got there? You know what? I think I got a lot of things in storage too, which we can check out. Stored modules. Alright, let's see if we can pump this thing up. We have a 7A power distributor. Wait up. Wait a. Transfer to ship. Wait. Are you serious? When did this happen? Alright. Okay, so there we go. 7E, now it's a 7E power plant. I am D 
deeply confused right now. I'm sure, I swear to god that was a 7A power plant. No, now it's a 7E e power plant. Someone put something in my coffee, guys. We've got two power distributors here, so how about we... There it is, there's a 7A power distributor. Can you see that? It says 7A. And then I, there it is, okay, that's, that's better. That's awesome. Look, I got seven of... I got three sevens. Three sixes. Four sixes. Se five sixes in this ship. That's a crazy, guys. That's crazy. It's very similar to the Python, I'm realizing. But look how much fuel tank we got here. We got four of those fuel... Am I... I feel like I'm tripping balls right now, guys. I took some really bad LSD. Because seriously, this... I don't know what's happening. We got the full tank... Holy Jemima, where is my vagina? I don't know what is happening today. Alright, let's get the 5D hull reinforcement package, let's get it up there. Integrity's already at a thousand, so let's um see what we get this time around. Whack it in. I don't know. It went down in integrity. Well, that was interesting. We have an interesting moment here. We got optional internals, let's have a look at those. Alright, so we got the standard docking computer as always. 3A fuel scoop. That ain't any good. That's not gonna work with me, guys. Actually, let's get a 5 fuel scoop. Real quick. You know, I got a feeling I still got a lot of stored stuff that hasn't made it to this station yet. So let's uh, see what we got in here. A fuel tank, laser beam, oh yeah, I don't know where my fuel tank is, fuel scoop, I mean, there it is, 6A fuel scoop, okay, now that's a beast, you're going to want to use this, anywhere you go, there you are, because this fuel scoop will get you out of all the troubles you ever will have, oh, and I don't have a position, Oh, there's no position. Alright, that's frustrating. So let's go back into optional internals and make positions for it. Let's take out a... F let's take out a 6A cargo rack. I don't even want them anymore. So... I'm going to sell that real quick. Get it out of my system. Let's flush that. And immediately you can see my light years have gone up in jump. So that's good. So let's uh, transfer some stuff, guys. So here's a fuel tank. Just looking for my amazing fuel scoop. Fuel tank, hull reinforcement. Where is that? Mama Maya Pizzeria baby got the diarrhea. The pizza. Forty module. Hmm, it must be in transit. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, just a 3A fuel scoop, that's it. That's crazy. Ah, yes, it is in transit, guys. I knew it. Look, we got thrusters in transit. We've got a few things there in transit. Okay, we, we, we won't worry about that. It's not like we're going to go anywhere really far anyway. Let's have a look at core internals real quick. we got a 7E power plant. Thrusters, frame shift. Let's see if we can get a 6A thruster. 5A thrusters. Yeah, let's grab that. A 7E power plant. How about no, Scotty? Damn, this thing's powerful, guys. Transfer options. Let's see what we have in transfer. Same old baloney. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Let's just have a look at the ship. Let 
Okay, we have no destination, no plan. So we have an SRV. You know what? We should have a spare ship in this thing. Landing coupler disengaged. Whoa! Shivers. This thing is very nimble. Holy hell. Wow, that's crazy difference compared to my Kato guys. It's crazy. That's a nice ship. Wow, that's a beautiful ship. Fuck, what am I doing? Wow. Holy Jemima. This thing's so fast. Gee whiz. That's amazing. What do I do with it? What do I do with this thing? Well, let's have a look at it. Wow. You can see the uh, thrusters up here. They're really nice too. Work really well. Can you hear that motor? It's amazing. Whatever you kids call it these days, motor. Alright. Look at those thrusters. That's a crazy ship. We gotta land this thing on the planet and see what it looks like. First of all, let's change the camera. If we can, if we dare. Where is the camera? Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice looking ship. I give it a good five, seven, nine out of ten. It's got a pretty cool looking cockpit inside. Not bad at all. A lot of a uh, lot of detail in this thing, as always. All right, so not bad. Speed restrictions are now lifted. So there's a spare chair as well. There's two spare chairs, as you can see. You can have two buddies in this ship as well. Buddy number two. Buddy number three. Let's see what the uh, landing gear looks like. Landing gear deployed. Just looks like landing gear landing to me. Alright, let's exit. Alright, let's do something. Where to? Let's find a nearest landing spot and we'll land this thing, see what it looks like outside. Cannot comply. Why no comply? What's happening here? Alright, let's go! Uh, thanks for joining everybody. I appreciate that. Look at the bottom of the ship, that looks amazing. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look cool? Oh, what? What's this mass lock bull crap? Am I actually mass locked right now? I would yes, I think I am. I need flashlight stat. How do you turn the lights on, guys? We need lights. Oh shit. We're in an asteroid field. Okay, let's see if we can get it through it real quick. See Is that? Is Valkyrie worth it? Yeah. What? Eve Valkyrie? Um, yeah, definitely. It's definitely worth it. It's a really good uh, virtual experience, actually. 
much better now than what it was when it first released. Uh, it's got a lot more content. I would say so. Depends on how much it is for you guys. Whoa, whoa, there's look at the rocks. I've never seen rocks that small in space. Look at that. I'm not even kidding. The whole time I've played this game, I've never seen them that small. Alright, let's go. I love the sound of the machine. Uh, I mean, the engine. What am I calling it a machine for? Uh, the engine sounds fantastic. Okay, we can go now. Okay, we're not mass locked anymore, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna land on the planet and check, see what this thing looks like in the light. Uh, we need a bit, a bit more sunlight or something, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at the hard points while we're at it. Oh, I can't. Wait. Yes, I can. We got pulse lasers, railgun. We got the point defenses. We got two of those. Two heat sink sinks as usual. Uh, data scanner, infinite data scanner, railgun, seeker missiles, and pulse laser. So I'm, I'm pretty ready, pretty bulky actually. This the ship's pretty bulky, pretty much right off the bat. With very little um, change changes. We've got a mining laser as well, so we can mine stuff later, and we can probably get some arsenic, so that we can update the other ship, the cutter. And I need some chemical processes later today too, so I can upgrade this ship. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, let's head over to this place and see what it looks like. We're about 900 million light seconds away, so it won't be a couple of minutes. If you guys have any questions ab about this game, please feel free to let me know, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I have Tourette's. In case you don't know what that is, it's where you just randomly say words real loud, like, like, FUCK SHACKLES, and things like this. Often curse words, mostly. Yeah, mostly curse words. Oh, shackles. Okay, so we've got to slow down a little bit. And just relax, guys. Alright, let's go. Lewis! Wake up, man! Hey, we got to play some... Would you like to play some Rec Roy L today? If you happen to be there, let me know. We should play some... Oh, not you, putty cat. I wasn't yelling at you. I wasn't yelling at you, buddy girl. It's okay. I wasn't yelling... I was yelling at Lewis. My cat ran straight towards me. <laughs> She's like, what's the Dane? What's the problem? What happened? I'm like, don't worry, I'm just streaming. I'm just being a jerk. Alright, so here we go. I haven't been here before, so this is very exciting. So let's have a look at this planet, and we're going to land here. Get a better look at this um, ship. What is going on, cat? You're tripping me out, lady. Oh, shit! Nice. Here we go. Look at that. So what I want to show you guys is the bottom of the ship too, which is uh, freaking cool, I think. Having that open like that, big open, big open cockpit. But I am used to the cutter, which has basically no cockpit on the top here at all. Um, so it's a, bit, it's a nice change. Okay, let's have a look from the outside. As you can see, it's a nice flat top vehicle. It's a medium sized vehicle. You can park this in medium size uh, places, which are medium size. So there you go. You don't have to worry about your size too much. Uh, it's got plenty of room for uh, passenger missions as well if you want to go that route. It's a pretty much good all rounder ship. I'm very hyped for it. Like I said, it's a good fat 7.8 out of 10. This is nearly one of the best ships in the game, I think, right here. It is better than the Pop Python just by a smidge, but the Python does have benefits over this. I think it's got an extra, a uh, little bit more room than this one actually. But this ship here also has the capacity to have a smaller ship, a fighter ship inside of it as well. Which is fan freaking fantastic.
Okay, let's land. You know what, this um this vehicle does sound like a vacuum cleaner going off in the background. It's like bzzz. Can you hear that high pitched sound guys? That's actually gonna drive me crazy. I don't think I'll be flying the ship too much more. Can you hear that guys? There's a really high pitched squealing sound. I literally thought it was a, a vacuum cleaner from a distance. But it sounds good otherwise. But yeah, just in the background you can hear this high pitched squealing. Uh, it's, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner to me. Here we go. Truth be known, it probably is a vacuum cleaner. Alright, so here we go. Let's land. Let's see how easy this thing is to land. Actually, let's turn off uh, flight assist and everything else as well. But, um, let's do this properly. Okay, so we've got... Uh, hang on guys, my cat's gone behind the TV. Say no to cats, guys. Say no. Icy kind of planet here. We might find arsenic here. Wow, this ship is so agile. It's so good to fly. Um, it's a very agile ship. Very impressed. Look at that. I love being able to look at the ground from here. I think that's a really cool thing. Alright, let's slow down, shall we? Or we'll die. Alright. And some stable terrain. So much nicer to fly. So I've been flying the cutter for the last few months, so that 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 thing's huge. It's very hard to turn around and stuff like that. Uh, I took it for granted how easy this it can be. Okay, we need some flat ground, Seraphim. So easy to land because you can see everything. You can see the ground uh, very easily. Here we go. Where the fuck is the stable ground gone, though? I can see stable ground everywhere. What is this doing? There we go. Okay. Let's just align that up and land. There we go. No! Seraphim, calm down. It's no, it's not terrain. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Land your son of a gun. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Let's see how big it is. Because you can get the better scale from being outside the ship. You get a much better comparison than how big this thing is. Warning. 
So again, I'm sorry guys also from the 360p stream, that was the best I could do. Um, but in a couple of weeks, uh, I will be able to stream at a higher quality, so stick around guys, because it will get better in time. Look at that ship. It's not that, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, which is good. It's just a little bit bigger than a python, I would say. Maybe about roughly the same size. Very nice. It's a nice design. Nice flat top, too. Which makes me feel like maybe we could do this trick. Alright, let's see if we can land on this thing. Uh-oh, nope. It cuts off your, uh... Damn, you can't land on them anymore. Alright, well let's go look for some arsenic. And all those types of goodies, because we need them. So I'm using the HOTUS T-Flight at the moment, just so you guys know. Um, the SRVs are a little hard to control sometimes, but it doesn't feel too bad today. Oh yes it does. A little sensitive. You can't really uh, turn that down like you can for the, aer the aircrafts, but uh, spacecraft, whatever your kids call them these days. Okay, where is this arsenic? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Wow, look at that planet in the distance up there. There we go. Alright, look look at that, guys. It's just there, isn't it? It's right there. We could fly straight to it, guys. We could just fly straight to it. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. Maybe we will. Maybe that's what we'll do. Just fly straight there from here. Straight there. Okay, we'll just call the ship back. And, uh, wait for it to come. There it is. Come to Eat me. Valkyrie is very like cool, but does ship. look a little dated. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually played that game. I might, uh, give it another shot one day, see what they've done Howdy. to it. Howdy, Matt Howdy. What's up, Gamertag? What's cracking? I'm just chilling out in the, uh, Elite Dangerous. I'm waiting for my ship to arrive so I can go to that planet up there in the sky. It's a beautiful planet. I'm just waiting for my ship. I don't know where it is. Wait, I found something. Yes, we found some Bronzonite! Cryonite! Let's go get some! Bros? Bronzites? My little Bronzites? Oh, shit. I absolutely love the look of this game. Yeah, this game looks amazing. I, I really want to make something like this uh, when Dreams comes out. Something similar. Something similar would be really cool. I'm, I'm, I like it a lot. Let's shoot this Bronzite Cryonite out of the way. Wow. You're a great driver. Oh, tanks. Yeah, yeah, I've been practicing. Crashing a lot. Okay, we need to rise our skiers. Okay, I need to um, activate my cargo scoop. 
I've recalled my ship. Um, oh, it's this button here. Wait, where? Sometimes. Okay, this is a ship, which I just called. What see. sort of vehicle is this? Okay, so I'm in the uh, SRV right now. Buggy. But that's my ship right there. It's the um, MK2. Crate? The crate? There it is there, landing right there. We'll go to that in a moment. You can see it landing here. It's a beautiful ship. It's a nice... It's nice. I like it. It's different. But right now I'm trying to figure out how to get my uh, sc cargo scoop uh, down. I'm having problems with that for some reason. Wait. I'm not sure why. I mean, I've used it a million times. It just doesn't seem to... Where is it? Strange, guys. It used to be on this button here, and I'd just press it and open it. Oh, I know what happened. After the update, I suppose I've changed my buttons around, which is uh, quite frustrating. No, come back, you bastard. Oh my god. This doesn't usually happen at home. I have no idea. Alright, so I guess the only way to do it then is to do it from here. Congrats on the 5k subs. Oh, YouTube thanks. YouTube legend status. Oh, I appreciate that uh, a lot. Thank you guys. I couldn't have, couldn't have got there without you guys. It took a long time, guys. It took, it took a long time. Maybe like five or four, maybe four years, I think. It was a lot of fun. I, I, I had a lot of fun, guys. Okay, so we're just collecting the materials here. Oh! So this is the camera mode that you can use too to, to shoot rocks and stuff as well, which is really cool. I don't usually use it though, but... Okay, we're just gathering these resources too. We got that one, and I think there's three more here. We got selenium. I don't know if we need any of that. But we'll grab it anyway. And we got more sulfur, which sulfur, which is not something I use regularly. And still there's no arsenic. It's very hard to find arsenic, it's quite Arsenic, arsenic. It's very, uh, rare. It's a rare commodity. But we have some carbon, so that's good. Grab that carbon. Alright, let's get back to the ship. We just gotta call it again, because it went away. Because it's scared. And. There it is. Look at that thing. So this is a new ship Sorry, from the new update. Sorry, may I work? Gotta go. Ah, no Take worries, care. man. No problem. You have a good day at work, buddy. There it is. There's my ship. And... Faction. Let's go to the ship. And as I promise, we'll go to that planet right above us up there. Look at that one there. So that's what we'll do. Okay, let's turn off that cargo. Oops. And let's go home. Well, I've never entered this ship before like this. This is going to be my first time, so I'll do it slowly. Let me in, let me in! There we go. Alright! That was amazing, guys! I like this ship a lot. It's super agile. I'm not used to it being so agile at all. Uh, but I really appreciate the differences here. Yeah, thanks again, Gamertag. Five th yeah, 5,000 subs. Wow, I can't believe I actually made it. 
but tomorrow it will probably go back down, back to 499 like it did yesterday, and then it'll go back up 5,000. It'll, it'll go back and it'll flirt with the idea that I've made it anywhere successfully for about a week. Um, but after a week, I'll do a video uh, thanking everybody for helping me get to 5,000 subscribers. It's a lot of people, and it's a lot of views too. It's like over a million views. Very crackly, crackly. Alright, let's go to that planet right above us. There it is. See that? That's crazy. This is a crazy game. I can't wait to work on something like this in the near future, guys. Very pumped. Very excited. So we're from this planet down there, and we're going to go all the way to that planet directly, which I think is fan freaking tastic. This looks incredible. It's an amazing game. I, I really appreciate this game. So we're leaving this right now, so it's kind of weird uh, using the controller in this way to show you guys uh, some crazy uh, visuals here. Blast off. So yeah, there's a lot of skill in the wrists. Wow, look at that. That's a beautiful snapshot, guys. Just gone straight to that planet. That's freaking crazy scary, too. We did it. Alright, let's look at the weapons real quick so I can show you guys <coughs> what this what this thing can do. So let's bring out some pulse lasers and rail guns out. And you'll see the guns actually come out here. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You can actually see the weapons now. Alright, let's land on this thing and see if it looks much different. We'll fly real close to the ground and we'll do some uh, ground flights. Because it's that agile, I think you can with this. The cockpit is impressive. Yeah, I love being able to see through the whole thing. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. It's fifty million dollars. I got it from Jasonson um, Mo uh, Morial, I think, uh, something like that. I'll find out for you guys where I got it from, and I'll put it in the description. Uh, there's a lot of places you can get it from. Uh, it's, it's just a new ship out. Memorial, yeah, that's it. Jason and Mo Memorial. Uh, if you type that in, you'll see the station there. That's the only station. It's the biggest station, and that's the planet we came from. Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? Can't wait till they add atmospherical planets. I just think that's going to be amazing. You just have to keep waiting, though. This, this game just takes a long, long time. It just takes a, a long, 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 long time. Oh, actually, dropping from orbit of Bruce. Here we go. Super fast landing. So it looks like that planet we were on was a little bit bigger than this planet, and how I know that is because from this planet, the size is bigger. So that's uh, very impressive right there. I'm actually in the orbit right here, it's floating around, and it is a sight for sore eyes. Wish you guys can see this in HD next week, you might be able to. And it's actually orbiting right now. It, that, that planet is actually moving slowly. Slightly. Wait for it. Hey, I friended you in Rec Room Royal. 
Christopher. Ah, oh, cool, man. Was your name, uh, Jack Septicai? Was that you pretending to be? Because we had we f we found someone with that name, uh, Jack Septicai, and we we thought it was uh him. Was that you? We don't know who it was, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, thanks for the friend, and yeah, I want to play that later today. I'm hoping uh, Lewis might join me and a few other YouTubers, and maybe we can get together. And I am back. Got a couple of minutes. Oh shit, I'm gonna crash. Oh! My name is Smooth Lemming. Damn! I'm sorry, I just had a moment and I slammed into the planet. I'm okay. I'm okay. Damn, that was crazy. I had a, had a very scary... Smooth Lemming. Okay, I'll, I'll remember the smooth um, part. And I'll, I'll find you out there. I'll add you back. I wish we had VR support for this game. I think the whole world does at this point. Um, I'm very confused as to why they didn't just uh, lower the graphics and make it happen. They would have made millions of dollars, I reckon. If, uh, this game apparently is really good in VR. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people uh, thoroughly think that it's this fantastic experience in virtual reality already, so it'd be good to see it come out. I've been annoying the shit it out is of the devs. On VR, uh, I think. Yeah, it is, Gamertag. It's, it's actually really good. Apparently people really uh, freak out when they play it. They say it's one of the best VR experiences out there. Which really makes me upset. So hopefully uh, they'll uh, work it out. Alright, I think it's time to go back to our home planets. I'll show you guys my home planet where I live. And why it's the best place in the universe. To live. I'll show you guys why it is the best place in the universe. Did you get banned during the Elite Dangerous Live stream? No. Uh, oh, I got timed out though. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I did actually a little bit. But not too bad. I wasn't fully banned. But I, I kind of asked more than once for the PSVR uh, news. But they constantly say that there's nothing on that yet, so I just give up. Same with No Why Man's Sky. Why would you get like, banned? I was timed out because I asked like three or four times, I think, the same question. And I think they just put me on a timeout for like three minutes. Uh, I was allowed to comment after that, though. I booties. I remember that place. I'll never forget I booties. That was a great place. But that's not where we're going. My favorite place in all the galaxy, I'll tell you guys. It's a big secret place. It's called Hughes's Reach. Best place in the whole universe. And I can't even get there right now because why? I have no fucking idea. Wait, what? Why can't I, why can't I get to Hughes's Reach? Oh, I see. Maybe I should go to can New Dawn Station to first. Yeah, we can. We'll do that now. Alright, we just have to go somewhere I'm familiar with. So let's go to New Dawn Station first, refuel, and then we'll go to my house. The pride is better than the python. Yeah, I think so too. I think so. Much better, actually. A lot more... It, I can feel that the, the boosts and, and that work a lot better. Alright, let's do this. New Dawn Station, let's take me home. My target is obscured right now, so we're going to have to make a different type of jump. So let's go to Super Cruise. Go to the vector escape vector right here. Bye, planet. Whatever. Are you at warp? Almost. Just building up the charges. And we're ready to go. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we're about to warp now. Ok, 
Okay, ready? Clear. Okay, Blast. we're ready. Blast off. Ready to engage. Four, three, two, one, engage. Wow. Okay, we're going real fast. Like. Will we see loads of blue shit? Pretty much. This is a lot of fluff and colors. Uh, it's like they let their art team go crazy here. Uh, it's not atomically correct, uh, but it's okay. It looks good though. Looks really, really good. But uh, I find it irritating. I really wish I it was. I have one zero 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 shield HP on my cry using engineers. Oh, crikey. All right, let's see if we can actually reach Hughes' reach right now. This is kind of discombobulated in the new ship, to be honest. I'm finding it difficult to do what I usually do, but um, it's still a good ship. It's very agile, really good for battles and fighting, I guess. More so than what I usually use, which is my cutter, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. All right, so now we've uh, marked my home, so we can actually head that way now. Drive Which is a beautiful Still place. Got obliterated in the CG system. I haven't seen that yet. Is that like a computer generated fight between the ships to see who's better? I'd like to see that. I'd like to see who, what ship comes out on top, actually. That'd be really cool. Get! Okay, we're going back home. We're gonna get some chicken wings and everything, guys. I'm really excited. I am getting too old for this playing games shit but guys I'm never gonna stop damn gotta go again MOG tired face no game of trial get back to work CG is a community event oh I see it's a commodity I laughing I, I love chicken, chicken wings me too Mara chicken wings the chicken wings are nearly ready but yeah we're gonna head to Hughes's Reach chicken I'll wings. show you that real quick that's what Predator's face looks like. Uh, two, two chicken wings sticking out of his mouth. That's what I always thought when I was a kid. I was like, I'm never going to eat chicken again. But I did eat chicken again many times, and I'll do it again. I'll even go as far as to eat a chicken filet. I ate five eight in a single sitting. That's crazy, man. Is there something wrong with us that we just eat them? You know, I chicken used to work wings on a at a um, chicken farm, and uh, uh, I used to pick oranges as well, back in the day, at, on an orange farm, and they had chickens there, and oh my god, they stunk, they stunk the whole place out, it was really bad. And we're standing around, and we're just like eating eggs and shit, and oh man, it was horrible work, I didn't like it, I was there for one day, I broke my arm, see, and I wasn't able to work there any longer. My so. Corvette has 4500 zero, zero shield strength engineered. But the orange farm was cool. Oh wow, we got, we're nearly there. I'm sorry, my Corvette. Oh, you got a Corvette? Holy shackles, that's a lot. Yeah, I can barely get my cutter up to 2,000. Barely, I can only just, almost. Maybe it's 1,500. But it can travel up to 27 light years. This at the moment, as it is, is like 19. Um, straight out of the box, it's like 14 light years or something. Uh, I was hoping to find some arsenic and some Sorry for uh, chemical wind. compression. Uh, yeah, no, that's okay. No, Corvette. I had a choice of that or a cutter. I went with a cutter. So, um, but yeah, Corvettes are cool. My friend Mr. Boring has a Corvette. He's amazing. He has a Corvette, guys. And I rode in it once or twice. It was so good. But yeah, we crashed it one time into the moon. Uh, it was a very sad day. So we're nearly there. This is why I like Hughes' Reach. It's got the best passenger message I've ever seen. And it has a really nice view of uh, the rings as well. I helped him get the bat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a small world, guys. Yeah, it's a big red flashy Corvette. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, let's slow down. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash. Fuck. Oh, Seraphim, why? Why are you taking the shame of the loop of shame for everybody to see? Trust me, I don't do this alone. I, I don't make mistakes, okay, guys? I 
get my I aim and shoot every and I get to aim every time in the target. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm very discombobulated. I'm upside down, that's why. Okay, slow down, Seraphim. We're nearly there. And here we go. A little bit of action for you guys, a bit of entertainment value right there. It's a little bit embarrassing for me though, but Alright, let's request the docking, even though I live here. Definitely, you guys have to see this place. It's, it's the best place. Buttons are three though, that's what I like to know. Oh, it's that button, okay. Protest when the timer reaches seven seconds throttle down to the begging of the blue zone. You guys think that was pretty good camera work? What do you guys think about that? Alright, so we're in the Starship Enterprise. So let's uh use this reach guys, I seriously you guys. Come on guys. You can make so much money here, it's unbelievable. I found it by accident one time, I don't know if you guys know the story. Nice. I was being attacked and um basically I came here for refuge. And um, I couldn't believe what I found. It's amazing. All right, so let's switch up to the ship. And uh, so that was the um, yeah, that was the crate, the crate, the crate, whatever loot crate. I don't know Tell what you guys me. call it. Oh, uh, what's up? Tell me. I'll tell you a thing or two. What now, system? This system is in Ryberger. Wait, let me find out for you real quick. Um, give me a second. Okay, so we are located... At, if you just type in H-A-U-S-E-R, the plus V-S, reach, you'll find it. But I'll show you what system it's in as well. Just give me one hot second. Alright, so here we go. Uh, is that a place called R-O-B-I-G-O? -O? It is Robigo. Alright, so here we are. So uh, let's change ships and I'll show you why it's a good place to use. Uh, you probably already know, but hey. We go to our. F f we go to uh, shipyard. Down at the, the boneyard shipyard. And then we go to stored ships. And I've got a dolphin, it's pretty cool. I got the cutter. So let's correctly collect that. We're, we're gonna use this ship. Okay, so this is why I like this ship, because obviously I can carry a lot of uh, personnel Thanks. on board. No worries, anything to help you guys save time. Time needs to be saved, we're on a planet, we're, we're, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. We need to save time to live longer, to have more life. So if I've saved you a couple of months of grinding, then so be it, but um, I think that's fantastic. Alright, so let's get into the mission board here. and. I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm in the mission lounge right now. And thanks for keeping me company, too, guys. It's a company, it's good. It's economy, country. It's a colony, it's a colony of countries. It's an anemone, it's a type of growth. So, I appreciate that. Uh, we're standby. Okay, so here we go. We got three people here. Best one. Uh, over here is serious atmospherics are the ones you want to get. Any of those are fantastic. This one's half a million and a half, but that's not the best. I've been able to get two million. Here we go, two million one, five hundred. Look at that one. I've even seen three million. It's close to Uh Dollar ones. Yeah, it's near Soviet. This it's not too far away. It's like about f eight jumps. But if you have a good 
uh, ship range, which I'll show you what mine is, you can it only takes three jumps. Okay, f so that's you might want to keep that in mind. Serious atmospherics, nearly three million dollars. So we'll grab that one straight up. Whack it in a cabin. I'm gonna whack it in this cabin at the top. I usually have more room, uh, but I've actually put a good fuel scoop on there. I don't know why I did that, so I apologize. But I can fit another two more if I wanted to. So we have a nearly five million. Uh, I have worth five right one there. max jump range. Wait, what? Five, fifth? Oh, dude, you could do it in one go. Yeah, you don't even need to worry. How'd you do that? What do you got? Your, what ship are you driving? I want to drive your ship all everywhere. I'm all about trying to get the furthest reach possible, but it's just taking a long, long, long time. Just looking for another good mission here. They're a little bit lower than what I remembered. What's going on? Ah, uh, here we go. Two million. One hundred and twenty-three. Nice. I'll grab that one too. Usually I make at least ten, eleven or twelve million. Uh, but I've removed some compartments for whatever reason and I don't have enough. Sit. But we can get one more. Asp engineered for all my exploration needs. ASP engineered for all my exploration needs. Uh, where at though? I have problems trying to figure out how Sophus that works. and COs are good for Federation rank. As to making money, you can board hop and find some for four to five million. Oh really? That's uh, a lot for a mission. Yeah, I'm still working it out, working the kinks out. Still and on my groove. last engineer and I have 594 Li W full tank also have SRV and fighter no weapons. Let me show you my weaponry. No wait, let me show you uh, my workshop here that I'm working on. Just to see if I've missed something because I feel like I've gone as far as I can. So I've got a 7A frame shift drive. I've done all these. I'm up to the last, the final one and I just need one arsenic. Ars. Arsenic. I need a little bit of arsenic, literally just one more, and I've completed the whole uh, thing to increase my frameshift drive range. But at the moment, as it stands, my frameshift drive range is exactly... In uh, 26. Do it. Yeah, cool, man. That's a nice place. Maybe I'll see you there when I play open, uh, which I might do later tonight uh, and today, maybe a bit. I have an AE cargo pack rack of 256, I like that one, I just, I could get rid of that if I wanted to and add another compartment, you see what I mean? Which I might actually do, why not? So let's uh, transfer option and transfer for a, oh shit, we'll see if we even have a... Small tip, you can put 4D thrusters if you really want. 4D thrusters, is that better? It could be. Why did I put my 5D business class up there in the 8-4? It's ridiculous. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, on cried. Planetary vehicle. We don't need a planetary vehicle when we're doing this. So how about we change that to a the cargo rack of 32, just in case we happen to find some arsenic on the way we'll be able to pick stuff up. So that's why I would do that. Uh, we got business class, first class, uh, 3D hull. Oh yeah, what is that about? Thanks buddy, I didn't even... I didn't even notice. What cabins do I need? Any, really. You pick up a good mission with any. I, I would try to get at least six to more, but business or first class is good. Wait, we'll have another look at that in a second, and I'll see what else we could use. Five... What's this 3D HUD hull reinforcement package? I don't remember buying a whole package. Let me check my transfer section. Oh, shit, yeah, you're right. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why I didn't put that in there in the beginning. Uh... Weird. I'm a weird man. All right, cool. So we got 40 uh, package reinforcement. You package. are doing good work, sir. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Rhymes' 2002 sees? Cabins do. Okay, well, we'll check your cabins out. I am making about 2-0 mil per trip on my Python using nothing but economy cabins. That's crazy. I mean, see, that's pretty damn good. Well, I have a 5D business class, uh, 5C, as you can see, first first class, another 5C first class. I really should have more. I think that's all I can do, though, right? 5D, yeah, business class, uh, 5E cabin. 4D, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can really do another one. Maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Maybe I can fit one more in there. Nope. I don't have any more, actually. I don't think they've arrived yet. I, I don't know what's going on. We have enough. We're good. So, yeah, let's How check out our... Hour? I get... Zero million? I don't know. Well, that, I don't think so. Maybe almost. It's probably about... Every five minutes, I could get, say, ten million. Every five minutes, so that's... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll check. It doesn't take this long, obviously. I'm just sort of setting out my ship. But once you've whacked in all your passengers, and you just go back and forwards, back and forwards, uh, you can do each return trip in about four minutes. Um, ten million, at least, every time. So that, that'll be about that. So we can grab another one now. So let's grab another... One million five hundred. Oh, here's a two million dollar one. I can grab another one. So here we go. Let's pick a cabin. And business class works as well. So basically anything works. Is economic, uh, business, uh, what have you, what have you got? First class, economic, business, first class seven. Economic seven, business class four. For any of these passenger missions. All right, let's actually do the missions now. Why not? So what we do is, we can either go straight to here, and it's serious atmospherics, or oh, what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. So you go to the mission map. Okay, you could probably start timing now if you wanted to see how long it would possibly take. So I open up the system map. I usually have it bookmarked, uh, anyways, but... Okay, it's this planet here, at the s near the station, New Helm Station. It's actually the planet right there, called So This A5. So that's Cheers, where I like Seraphim. to uh, anytime. Let's see this game on PSVR hot. Yeah, right? I know, I've asked so many times. They, often the same answer is that they, they don't want to lose uh, anything of the game they want it to run perfectly, basically, and if they can't get it to run perfectly, they won't do it. So it's pretty sad. But you never know, they might find a way in the future. If they do, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys up to date on that. If I hear anything, um, I'll tell you guys straight away, I'll make a video. Because it has to come out one day. Right? Right? Maybe PS5? Maybe the PlayStation 5 VR might be able to do it. Um, I would not care if they lowered the graphics, like, 30%. I would not care. It'd still be a fun game, you know what I mean? Oh, here we go. So be very careful with this ship. I hate, I hate trying to get slipped through this little letterbox in this ship. It freaks me out every time. Um, just don't like doing it. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. Oh damn, that was close. It's such a big ship. You know what? The crate, the crate is so much easier to fly than this. So I'm very excited to do that ship up and uh, use that instead. But for now, I have to use this one to do what I do. I think. All right, let's go. Okay, we're heading to that mission now. So let's see how long it takes. Keep in mind, I can only do. Th I have to do it in three jumps, and I have a 26 light year jump. So if you got 50 or whatever, you could probably do it in one or two. I just boost out of the station even in my Corvette. That's dangerous. That's so dangerous. 
Yeah, this ship's expensive too. Like, if I break this one, I have to pay twenty thousand, twenty million dollars to get another one, which really freaks me out sometimes. But I have two hundred million dollars at the moment from doing these types of missions. Yeah, Mr. Boring's the man, he showed me about, um, Sozis and New, New Dawn and them. I didn't know about Theos back then in the day. Um, we kept it secret for a while there, but then I realized people were making videos all over the place, so I was like, Video time! But then I found this, uh, Hughes's Reach, which I really like a lot. But if you guys have a better place to make money or faster, let me know. I'd like to cash in and make a video on that too. But honestly, like, anything that saves people time is a good thing, I think. Because you could play this game for years. Like, I've been playing this game for years, I guess you could say that. I've had at least 50 hours on the PC. He learned it off me. I told him to stay hush hush. One. Oh yeah, we did. I did for the longest time. We, we kept it quiet for like a, at least a month or more, you know. And then. I saw a video and there was like thousands and thousands of people knew about it and I was like damn everyone knew about it it's no secret anymore but I wish it was because it was kind of fun you know having a secret part of the galaxy to yourself it was kind of cool it was a nice idea maybe I shouldn't have known about it at all but I found out because I'm Mr. Boring's best friend ever and he always tells me everything everything no, it probably turned out that I wanted to play with him one day, and he was like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hanging out at this cool spot right now, I don't know if you're cool enough. And I'm like, please, please, man. He's like, alright, don't say anything. And then I, I didn't say anything, and then I did say something. Just, I'm sorry. But Hughes's Reach is a, a place that I found on my own, and I share it with you guys in return for my failure as a secret keeper. I'm very sorry, he but... He hasn't been streaming lately. Hughes's Reach is a uh, really good money. Uh, I, I haven't, yeah, I haven't. I, I, I've had a couple of uh, comments back and forwards with him here and that. It's still around. I think maybe just working hard these days. But I gotta try and catch up with him soon. Actually, play some games. We gotta play some games together, like in the old days. And I've been pumping out videos a lot too, and been pretty busy too, with all these releases for VR lately. It's been a fiasco. What am I doing? Where are we? So okay, we gotta we gotta walk. Don't time me, guys. You're distracting me. Don't time that. That was my fault. Four, three, two, one, I just zoned right the fuck out, guys. I completely forgot where I was and why I was there. So here we go. Continue timing now. Okay, so we're heading to the mission. We're gonna get the missions. We're gonna make ten million dollars. Um, so that's fantastic. Make sure you have enough fuel Can capacity. I my as long as you have at least a sixty-four capacity fuel tank, you'll be okay. Anything less than that, you're gonna get stuck. Round trip. So a Corvette should definitely have the capacity for many passengers. I reckon you could fit at least five in there. That's uh, about 10 million right there, 2 million each, if you're lucky. Um, but normally you, you'll get probably about 8 million for 5 capacities in your cargoes. I mean, your passenger cargo. Uh, but a Corvette has a lot of room and you're pretty well protected, there's no reason. Any ship could do this if you have enough room. I don't know how much room the Corvette has actually, now thinking about it. Okay, we're nearly there. We're at the so this, so this A5. When you get to about 100 light seconds away, just click back in here like this and look for the actual mission. It should just pop up. When it does, click on it and head there. You know how to do passenger missions, guys. And then um, we're good We're good as gold. And then we just head back, basically, cash in. And we're good. It's that simple. Then you can buy whatever ship you want. And I just yesterday bought the cre crate. How do you say that? Cravat. Crate. I can't read. And I really like the agility of it, it's very fast, and has plenty of room for capacities. I could probably do these same missions once I upgrade my frameshift drive, um, which I need arsenic to do that, which is a pain in the arsenic, um, but I'll find some arsenic somewhere. If anyone knows of a good place to trade, uh, if there's a good trade place around that has arsenic or anything like that, or chemical 
uh, compounds or whatever? I, I, I'd like to know because it'd be much easier just buying them, I think. I've, I found one in my time playing this, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I lost it. Is I don't know what they call it. LOL, I spent like two five zero million last three days on ship and parts. Damn. Well, after the update, yeah, for sure. I think all up, I spent roughly fifty million, forty million, something for the ship, and. I feel million. like everyone is forgetting about the chieftain's ugly older brother. Yeah, I've thought that too. I saw that on a review yesterday, just looking at it, all the different ships. And I was like, hang on a second, that looks like the new ship, but worse. And I was like, I forgot about that. You mean the very square looking one? Yeah. But I don't know, I like the new champion one, or whatever it was called. Uh, what's it called? Uh, fuck. Ch ch I don't know. The new one? It's bulky, big. It's the first of its kind. I think it's type 10 or something, I don't know. Here we go! There's serious atmospherics, you can see that it's behind the planet, so let's just sort of scroll around. There we go. And we're done. Nice job, Sarah, from 10 million bucks in your pocket. What are you gonna spend it on? I don't know, another ship, maybe? Hey, it rather the chieftain over the new challenger. Ah, the challenger, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't like it. Yeah, I understand. Uh, that too, but I don't mind it. It reminds me of um, Avatar, you know, the ships that they had in that movie, Mr. James Cameron's movie that uh, had the challenges. It kind of reminds me of that. I haven't seen them yet uh, in the game. I I've seen people use them though, but I haven't found them. I was going to buy one just for fun, but I don't know. I don't know if I can waste any more money for now. Okay, we're nearly there. I went a little bit too close to the planet. Oops, easy. So I'm wasted a lot of time too, uh, doing this, but yeah. You get the picture. Alright, there we go. So click on that. Yeah, the HOTUS is so good. I'm so glad Mr. Boring told me about it. And I killed a couple of NPC challengers. They're, they're fantastic. Objective I didn't even know what they were until Mr. Boring was, uh, he got one and said they were great. And I was like, yeah, I want one of those things. And they're really good. What was the question? Uh, I've killed a couple of NPC challenges. Oh, no shit. See, I'm a pussy. I don't like fighting. I'm too scared of losing my ship. But now that I've got the crate and I can get that at a cheap buyback cost, I might go all out and start causing battles and stuff soon. So that'll be cool. Alright, so we've done that. Yo. Again, I've zoned out and forgot what I was doing, so let's go back home and cash in the cash. Yo. Yo, 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 home and home and home. Alright, so let's go to Galaxy Map. I like to bookmark where I like to be, so go straight back to Hughes's Reach. Click. And I'll show you what I mean by the fuel running out, too. Frameshift drive charging. Let's listen to the Fargoid lady. We can review. Here are this week's major stories. Chief Inspector K. Kilbride has been murdered by terrorist organization The League of Reparation. The incident took place in. Okay, we have uh, three jumps. From as well. we go. In the wake of Inspector Kilbride's death. Alliance Tell Interpol me has assigned point. Deputy Inspector Mara Klatt to assume the role of Task Force Liaison. There has been a range of... Tell me about the Fargoids. She's a Fargoid lady. Every week Actions she's like, Fargoids! Fargoids! Ready? She'll say it. I know she will. She a congratulatory does. message was sent from the she Imperial Palace, does. but there was no comment from Emperor Arisa Lavigny Duval. Senator Zemina Torval was frank in her disapproval, while right. Senator Caspian Leopold, who was rumored to be courting Ashling Duval, was Do more I still have my fuel scoop? Aegis has announced that it will no. allow technology brokers to reduce their requirements for items in order to increase overall combat effectiveness against the Thargoids. There we go, the Thargoids, drink up, it's Galactic a good drinking game. Had worked hard to oppose the Thargoids, Thargoids. and that Aegis would There's therefore two. make it easier for independent pilots to obtain advanced weaponry and hardware. 
Three Thargoids. She said Thargoids three times already. The organization has called on all members of the galactic community for assistance in defending the system, which is home to the Garrett Terminal Starport, a fringe religion that worships... Uh, it's a drinking game, so if she says that again, you've got a drink. Thargoids has become Thargoids. the target of hostility, with large numbers of civilian protesters reacting angrily to the sect's openly pro-Thargoid stance. Thargoids for Authorities have five. responded with assurances that the sect's members are harmless, and that criminal acts against them may result in prosecution. In other news, scientists in Colonia have announced plans to build an outpost to monitor the region's population and resources. Professor Alex I. de la Vega, who is heading the project, said the proposed outpost would focus on ensuring that the ever-expanding region would have sufficient resources in the long term. Finally, an operation to support construction of an Aegis military facility in the Pleiades Nebula has reached a successful conclusion. Hundreds of pilots supported the initiative by delivering mined resources to the Oracle, and by pre Three, two, one. Traders in the system, and those are the main stories this week. Thargoid worshipping Thargoid's hostility. The Thargoid lady has spoken. To a French religion that worships the Thargoids is one of mistrust and hostility, according to security reports. The nameless cult believes in the coming of the so-called Far God and the subsequent the extinction of all humanity by themselves. And that's Their hilarious. Their chapels, inspired by Thargoid design, Thargoid. have that's seven times. several independent worlds and in a few federation and alliance systems. Security forces in these locations have made numerous arrests for misdemeanors directed at the sect. These include graffiti, property damage, verbal abuse and physical assault. There are no recorded cases of worshippers retaliating, defending SJW themselves today. or seeking assistance. Juanita Bishop, who runs a vocal citizen protection campaign, claims she is warning the public about a genuine danger. If these Thargoid lovers don't want to be human anymore, <laughs> Thargoid lovers. they should be allowed to live among other humans. What? This sounds too much like our own um, freaks into ships politics. I hate it when they bring the politics into our games. So it's so annoying. And if they don't, it's up to us to stop them. Yeah, we gotta really stop these President to Trump Thargoid. Do obscene alien things to your family? That many authorities have responded do alien things along to your the family? lines as Councillor Quinn did. I've heard enough Thargoid lady. System. I've heard enough. I would like to assure citizens that... Shh. That's enough lady. Thargoid lady. That's enough Thargoid hate. Thargoid's lives matter too, lady. Come on. Alright, let's have respect for the Fargoids. I like the Fargoids. I'm a Fargoid lover, if you want to call me that. And if you think I deserve to die because I have love in my heart, then FUDGE YOU, Fargoid lady! Because guess what? I'm a Patreon farm. A Fargoid Patreon. So don't even, if you want to hit me up on Patreon, you can, because it's a real thing. Guys, I also have PayPal, which is a, a really kind of strange thing, isn't it, guys? I'm no different from a dude on the side of the corner with a uh, a sign saying I'll make people laugh for money so what a whore Seraphim you're, you're a YouTube whore bud so thanks for joining I appreciate it we're nearly at Homer's uh, reach once we get there I'm just gonna cash in my credit then I'm gonna try and set up my MK2 to see if I can actually get it to do the same functions as this did and if it does then I'm gonna get rid of this ship completely I'll just give it away I'll give it away to the closest subscriber I killed a Thargoid, but I done it just for the challenge. You hate me now, don't you? Hey, what? I killed a Thargoid. No, you didn't! You, uh, you, uh, it, uh, hate's a strong word. Look, I understand you had to do it for survival. It's what you believe in. It's what you're brought up. It's the dogma you're brought into. And it's not your fault. It's your parents' fault. But, you know, you gotta understand... God made all Thargoids in, 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 I don't know, in our image, I guess. This <sighs> Religion, okay? Just think for a minute. Do you think God would make us write a book about Thargoids on purpose? Or do you think it was just a coincidence? Because you know what? Say what you will about Thargoids, bud, because you're saying it about um, all of creation. Because don't Thargoids bleed too? I don't know, do they? I have no idea. 
I didn't even. I, you know what, guys? Wouldn't it be cool if we found out the fuck? Now I did it for the Lord. Aren't actually aliens at all? They're actually humans dressed up to look like aliens, but they're actually like a bad corporation, and they're not aliens at all. Wouldn't that be fun? No, I did it for the lulz. Yeah, I'd love to kill me some fireboys. Fuck them. <laughs> Fucking fargoids! I gotta get me some fargoids. Usually kill six fargoids before breakfast. Uh, we like the fargoid hunt around here. Cause I'm a chauvinist fargoid pig. And I voted for fargoid really. Uh, so you guys don't even. Yeah, I like how this game tries to mix uh, politics with it. It's it's kind of cool. I like it. I like how they do that. Because I really don't. Ho I hope they don't do that in real life, though. I hope they don't shit Why everywhere. Why is great. great? In space. Can you imagine shit everywhere in space? Like politics and presidents and assassinations in space. Come on, man. We need oxygen, don't we? You can't bring a gun on board because if you, one bullet hole could take out the whole ship. So how's the space force gonna work, Trumpy? Triumph that, why don't you? Oh shit, we're nearly there. We're there. Yeah, I can't believe we're getting Space Force! It, I'm actually really excited, everyone else um, might not be, but I, I think it's cool, it sounds cool. Um, maybe it's to protect Elon Musk's uh, Mars trips, I don't know why. I'm down, I'm down for a Space War. Yeah, we need a good Star Wars, guys. We need a good Star Wars. Hey, imagine if the president came back on TV and he's like, I was watching Sheriff from his channel the other day, and he's right. We've got to have a good war, a space war. We've had a war on the ground, we've had a war at sea, we've had war in the air. But I think it's time there we is this kill game each other in space. Says right now called Frontier Pilot Simulator. Frontier Pilot? What? Wait, what? Early access. You mean on Steam? Or just early access? Pilot Simulator. Yeah, they, they would do a real good job. They did a good job with Jurassic Park. They did a good job with this and the and the roller coaster game. So I reckon uh, I'll have another smoke while I'm waiting to land the ship and contemplate my future. I want this in VR though, so bad. On Steam, guys. but when it releases, it will come to PS4. Really? That's awesome. Can you use a HOTUS? Of course we can. That'll be great. I'm down. I, I, that, that's a straight up buy for me right there. Anything with Frontier in it and uh, simulation, you've got me by The Sims. Because, guys, guess what? I'm excited for that. Would that be in VR? Maybe. We don't, we don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I hope so. Imagine if there was a VR update and it just enabled every game to be in VR. It just uses a better software. It could happen. It could happen. Any day now. PlayStation update. It already has HOTUS support even in early access. Oh, that's awesome. Can you go to other planets? So it's like a realistic uh, pilot uh, flying game. That's pretty cool. Ace Combat 7 is something I've been waiting for as well. Uh, hopefully that comes out one day. Alright, let's cash in these messages. Passengers, I mean. Passengers missions. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, for as long as you have, Mr. Rimzas. Ramas. From 2002 seizes. It's already the herd of support, yeah, so that's really cool. Frontier have been nothing but very good and at listening to uh, people and, and stuff like that. But obviously, with the PSVR for Elite Dangerous, this have seemed to hit some sort of a quality control Only problem. Only one. You trade between trade ports with different weather conditions. You do Just trade? Say that's Venus. cool. Remus. Can I add a grr to it? So could I be like, Remus, uh, no, I won't do that. I never get to roll my tongue. Everyone else gets to do it. I never get to do it. Oh, I hate English. Yes. 
I have the most generic name. It's like Steve. G'day, Steve. It's like, oh man, it gives me the cringes. I hate my name so much. It's weird. Just call me Sarah. Sarah Tingleton. One nine zero. I prefer that name. Sarah Tinglington. Just call me Sarah Tinglington from now on, guys. So there we go, we made about 7 million, just maybe 8 million there, I have no idea, I wasn't paying attention, but that's amazing money right there! Let's change ships. I have one more look at the, um, Cray Vape before I end the stream, and then I'll, uh, end the stream! So we have the stored ships, and there is my crate! Cr cr I don't even know how to pronounce this word though, crate. It's crate, right? Like, loot crate. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm gonna use this ship. Oh, what? Well, I've still got pa wait. I've still got passengers in my ship. What? No, I don't. Wait. Hold up. Cried like create. Create. Yeah, I thought it might have been like create. Thanks, man. Now I know what to say. Now I know what this video is called. Amazing. Okay, I'm in standby, just uh, having a moment here. I just can't believe I have passengers still in my boat. I mean, it's a ship, Dad. <laughs> it's Give me a second. Where is it? Come on, where? where's my passengers? Oh shit, you know what I've done guys? I've accidentally grabbed a passenger f for the wrong station, I s assume. There it is, yeah I did. They want to go to Madden's Vale. I ain't going there, let's find out where that was. Let's find out where they wanted me to go, originally. I bet it's a million miles away. More than a million miles away, watch this, ready? Oh shit. Look how long it's taking to plot the route. Okay, look how far they wanted me to travel for this one. Wait, I can't even see how far they went. Look. What a Hit joke. Get the freeloaders off. Exactly. I'm gonna exterminate them in my, uh... uh... It's actually not that far. It is. It is. It's far. Let's kick them out. Get out! Get out! Abandon. Get out! Get out! Get out! This is my train! Vent them. Yeah, vent I should have. That would have been awesome. Like, in the sun. Vent them in the sun. Alright, now we can change ships and get back into the crate. You know, every time I do this, I'm so nervous that I'm going to accidentally lose my ship. I don't like doing it, to be honest. I've heard stories of people losing their ships and stuff. You know, oops, shit! Just talking about it, I literally pressed down to sell. <sighs> Fuck, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's like, you know, sometimes you're like, wait, wait, which way is left or right, and you don't know. Sometimes it's like that with up and down as well. All right, here we go. Back in the crate. So so far, it's it's pretty impressive. I just haven't been able to travel very far in it. And I don't have a good scanner on there either, so let's fix that real quick. Alright, let's just fix it. Did Boring tell you about the time I accidentally sold my Conda? That's probably where I'm getting it from, actually. That's probably one of those stories that I heard, and I'm telling you that same freaking story. Isn't that crazy, small world? Wow, that shouldn't have happened. Well, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribe. Hey, look. I can update my crate. Holy crap, are you serial? I can update my crate, guys. Since when? See, the crate is freaking me out. It's like a ghost ship. Alright, well, let's just update the shit out of it and see what kind of frame ship we can get. I know, it's just me being a joker. I'm sorry. Oh, it only let me do it once. Okay, so I can... Uh, Alright, I need chemical processes. Then I will need chemical processes. Then I will need nothing for that update. Look at that, I can update straight away on that one. And on the fourth lot here, 
for my frameshift updates, I'll need arsenic right at the end. So that's actually really good, because chemical processes, I'll show you how to get them, it's actually not too hard to get. I've just upgraded my frameshift drive just now, so let's see what range we get. I'm very curious, uh, so let's have a look. That thing can get up to 3-9 life. Really? That's freaking crazy. I've heard that too. <gasps> Holy shimaoli! It's 21! That went right up. Oh my god, that is crazy, dude. It was already at 17, and then it jumped straight to 21 just now. One click of the button. That's crazy. That's almost as far as my cutter. So I can nearly throw my cutter away already. So this ship is fantastic. It's almost better than the cutter when I think about it. Actually, I'd like to put on a fighter ship if I can. Because I actually don't know if you can. I'm starting to get a bit worried. So let's get rid of the 14 module reinforcement package real quick. Uh, I'm a little freaking out, okay? I got a refinery. <laughs> okay, so we got. Uh, where is my planetary vehicle? Where's my fighter vehicle? Where the fu. Oh, maybe I don't have one. Because it's on my cutter. Oh shit. Let's see if we can buy one. I don't know if I can buy one here, but planetary vehicle hangers. Oh damn. Make sure you take all the engineered modules off the cutter before you sell it. Oh yeah. For real, yeah, I should definitely do that. Can you transfer them into this ship? Because if you can, then I really should have done that. Yeah, I don't know where the fighter jet is. Maybe it's in my cutter. I can probably remove and switch them around. Because I really would like to do that. 2G planetary vehicle. So that's my SRV, right? Oh shit, okay. We have an empty slot up here. So... Yeah, that's what I might do. I might strip out my um cutter and whack it all that shit into this. That's a great idea. Thanks, man. I probably the Kreitz internals are too small. Yeah, I was thinking that. Let's f let's change them around. It's actually a good idea. So we we get back to Imperial Cutter. I'll strip it naked. Um, well, so I did it again. I nearly sold it. <sighs> Sarah Farrow. Okay, use this ship. Okay. Oh, I hate that option, how it's right there. It's too close to sell, accidentally sell your ship. Dude, I can't believe that happened to you. That freaks me out. Did it, did it give you a are you sure option afterwards? Or it's just one click and that's it. It's gone. Because it really should have are you sure kind of... The internals are too small. Yeah, i got to fix all that too. No, it died. It didn't? Oh, shit. So it's just like, bang, gone. That's scary. I can't believe that happened. Alright, so let's strip this thing. We'll take out all the good stuff I need, like the fighter ship, and see if it fits in the other one. I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, so optional internal. We could also take all my business class stuff, too. Oh, here it is, fighter. Let's get rid of that. And store it. Wait. Fighter hanger. And transfer options. Store it. Click. Yeah. Okay, that should be fine. So we have that there. Um, okay, so we have cargo packs also for days. Also, NY ship was worth 500 zero zero mil but only sold for 100 zero zero mil because I had legal issues on the chip. Oh, really? Damn. You didn't... You couldn't get rid of them or pay off the fine? That's no good. Lost a lot of money there. Okay, I'm just storing all my cargo capacities. I've got a feeling I might just use the uh, crate for that. I have, because uh, I'm not going to use this ship after for a while. So store that. And store these two as well, real quick. And the 
this one. Poor Amanda, luckily I had enough to buy another anaconda and raid it. Oh, you had another anaconda? Yeah, I've got like a backup dolphin just in case she hit the fan, but it had got me out of trouble one time. I'm gonna s take the 5D HUD off as well, because I think I might use that for a uh, crate maybe. Oh, an 8D shield generator? Hmm, maybe I can use that. I don't know. Let's have a look. And the first class passenger cabin as well. I don't think I'll need it, but I just want to see what I can do. Whoops. Store this. There we go. Oh, and this one as well. God, there's so many. We're going to make millions. Okay, I've completely stripped it down. I just want to keep it for its look, though. It's such a sexy looking ship. I really just have a look. So that has an 8B power plant. Can we use that in the crate? Can we? Or no? What about the 7A frame shift drive? What happens if I take that out? Will that transfer over to the crate? Damn, it's 3 a.m. right now. Hold on, hold on a sec, guys. Store it. Cried uses 5 FSD. Nothing I'm good, I'm in the back. cutter will fit. Uh, I thought I heard knocking on the door, but it's all good. Oh, I missed that. What'd you, uh, let me read that real quick. Nothing in the cutter will fit. The crate. Really? Nothing at all? Nothing? Tra la la? Crate uses 5. Oh, yeah, no shit. It does too. Thanks, man. <coughs> I'll store it though, but yeah. But you can store it? Okay, cool. Will I lose my, um,. Engineering, if I store it though. No. 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 <laughs> well, I forget what my question was. Damn it! What did I say? Did I say, will I lose my engineering? And you guys are like, no. So I can store it then. So if I can store it, say yes, and I'll store it. This is where it gets tricky. I'm nervous, guys. It's no like to I'm losing it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, sweet. Well, let's store it then. You and keep the engineering. The oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we may as well uh, store all of them, just in case we use it for something one day. So obviously I could use it for a different ship in the future. Engineering stays on the unit. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, because it wasn't very specific. I so did. I never the game concept of GT. Or uh, what's cracking, buddy? Welcome, 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 welcome. It hurts me to see someone selling one off the big three. Yeah, it, it's hurting. Uh, a l amazing much pain but I'll, I gotta do it I need to store my fuel tank as well so we got a lot of good stuff to here we might be able to use one or two things but maybe not but anyway it's still good utility hard points are fine okay so let's go let's get out the crate and I'll probably sell that at some point. I just gotta find a nice place to sell it and see what I can get for it in the future. And here's the crate, so let's jump into that. So far, it's probably one of the nicest ships I've flown. Uh, the feeling of flying it—it's much easier to steer than anything else. 
that I've owned, I think. Even more than the Sidewinder, if I can remember correctly. Alright, so, also you mentioned that my small points were too small. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by it's too small? You mean my um, core internals? We, oh, okay, so we've got the 7E power plant. Let's see what we can do here. The Corvette has the best turn rate of the big three and looks the best. Oh, it does? Yeah, I, I need to get one of those one day. Hey, I might be able to upgrade my thrusters. Let's, what do you reckon? Let's have a look. No? Wait. What? What? Six, five A thrusters. Where the hell are my thrusters? Frusty? Hang on. I don't have a store. That's crazy. Eh? Okay, we got a five A frame shift drive. Nice job, Seraphim. We got a four E, which we can't. Hang on. Wait. Store. Transfer. Nope. We got a 70 power distributor. I don't think I can change any of these. Oh, yes, we can! Yes, we can! America! So I got a 7A power distributor? Hell yeah, why not? What's the difference? I don't know. Let's just do it anyway. Transfer that in. Transfer that in, Scotty. Thanks. Hell yeah. Does that help? Is that good? Did I do good? I got 21 light years now. Is that. I don't know. So we got. <laughs> I don't know. So we got a fuel tank. Uh, 5C fuel tank. Uh, yeah, that's the best I could get there, I guess. Yeah, that's the best I can do. You did a good. I did a good job, man. Okay, we're in the optional internals now, so let's get jiggy with it! And let's add some crazy... Nope, nope, I can't really, nope, I can't do anything there. So I guess the 5C is the best, or is 5E even better? I don't know. There's a lot of fuel tanks. Wait, what am I doing? What is this? I can make that anything. So that's a 6E fuel f uh, shield generator. And I don't even know if I need that, to be honest. Let's see if there's anything better in there. One more set. One more. We got fuel tanks. Oh yeah, fuel tank. A big fuel tank. Yeah, I might do that instead. Now we got 22 light years, so that's nice. Let's get another fuel tank. Um, actually, what else? What about a fuel generator? No. <laughs> So we could get all our first class passenger stuff in there if we want. And that's really, really good. We got a hull reinforcement. Wow. We could add that if we wanted to. Though, however, I'm afraid. Nice. Okay, I'm just thinking. I don't really know what I want, to be honest. We could just got Orca. Orca. Time to outfit it to go to Rubigo. Rubigo. Uh, oh, good. Nice job. Let me know if you're there, if you happen to be there. If I'm still streaming, because I'll j I'll uh, come online. First class passenger cabin. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll keep them empty so we can see how much room we've got. We can get rid of that fuel tank as well. We can replace that for another ca passenger. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Transfer that. We got lots of hull reinforcements. Okay, we can also let's add another first class passenger. Five C, why not? Wait, did I just put a fuel tank in there? What the fudge? Sarah Fur! Damn it. How did that happen? First class passenger cabin. Transfer to ship. 
Yes, please. There we go. Um, so, nice, nice. I don't know. Okay, so let's try and get the flight thing in there. Which I think we can put in a four, right? So where's my fighter flighter? Really, you can't put a fighter flighter in there? Oh, shit. I thought you could. Maybe only in five. Let's have a look. I think it is five, actually, for a fighter ship. Is that correct? Let's have a look. There it is, fighter hanger. Let's get hanged. Let's put that in there. I, I want to see what it does. Damn. So. Four mil for a luxury cabin. Wow, that's a lot of money. Did I spend that much? I hope not. I might have. Oh, no, I don't think I have any of those. Where are you at? Five and six for a fighter. Five and six. Okay, cool. Thanks, Butter. We did it. Okay, so my fighter's there. Nice, nice, nice. Good, 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 good. What else we got? We got the... We don't need an SRV, but we do, so we'll leave it in there. We got a 3A fuel scoop. Ain't doing anything there, so how about we just get rid of that? We'll put a little shield generator on there just to give it a little bit of protection. Instead, it might be a smart. We can still travel 21 light years, so that's still going to be only three jumps away, so that's awesome. We got a standard docking computer, planetary approach suit, uh, we got a fighter bay, we got 5D fighter hangar, a uh, 5C class, 5C class. Hmm. You know what? It's nowhere near as useful as the cutter for this kind of job. So we've got one first, two. I mean, I could add more if I want, so let's do that. First class passenger, uh, let's whack that in there. Wait, what else have we got? I always change what I want to do midway, so <laughs> I end up getting a mixed thing happening. So let's get another passenger, there we go, and we can get rid of the fuel tank I guess. So let's get another passenger unit. Okay, we've got two business class ones left, so let's grab one of those. Lost a light it's all off. about trial and error. Absolutely. It's a bit of a puzzle. It's a bit of a mystery. Inside of a mystery here. Passenger cabin. It's not bad, actually. I, I fit pretty much the same as I did on the other one. Uh, I do need one more space, though. It would be nice. So we got the 5D. It looks like a downgrade. I'm a little surprised bit. you are swapping. Well, I'm not going to swap. Uh, I'll keep them both, I suppose, after this. I'll, I'll just keep them both. It's more for the look of it, I guess. The uh, HUD, I mean the cockpit looks pretty cool. So yeah, I can fit all of them in there. It's just I won't be able to carry around my fighter bay. That's pretty much the only thing. That's the difference. Which kind of sucks because I might get caught out in space. And I won't have any defense. So that's the downside. But nonetheless, we have one, two, three, four. Wait, is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, let's start again. One, two, three, four, five. I thought I had more. One, two, three, four. That's definitely five. That's not bad. It's not too bad of a difference. Similar in build to the keelback, but that has a fighter. Yeah, pretty much. The fighter is definitely useful. So the insurance cost though, however, is much less. So it doesn't really need shielding or fighter protection, to be honest, because I could buy that back in just two trips or three trips, I don't know. 
You know what I mean? So it's not it's not a big problem right there at all. See where I flew if I flew my, my cutter, if I blew up or if someone killed me, it would cost twenty million to, to get another one, so that had a fighter ship to protect that from happening. So it kinda balances out in the end, I get to have a better looking cockpit in the end, that's about it. And I guess I could still upgrade to do much bigger jumps than the cutter as well. So as you can see, all I need is chemical processor, so let's see if we can grab it. Oh shit, can I even fit a chemical processor in my ship? Damn it. I don't even know if I can. Do I have any cargo at all? I, let me check real quick before we go. Uh, utility mount. That's all me weapons, that's good. Or whatever. Do we have anything, anything? No, I, I, th I don't know. I think we do. No, we don't. Engineering mats don't need cargo space. Well, I'm going to get rid of the, the planetary vehicle. Wait, what? Uh, engineering mats don't need cargo space. We just need a little bit of cargo space. Really? So I don't need cargo space for engineering mats? No shit. This whole time. Are you sure? Because I tried to pick up something once and it said I wasn't allowed. Is that because it was like an item instead? Like cigarette? Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Alright. Uh, I guess you're no. right. We'll try that. Let's pick up our first lot of cargo. Let's see how this works in this ship. It should be around the same. It'd be nice to fly the ship a bit. Uh, it's pretty cool. Really wish I could have had my f my fire Max cargo. Armed cargo. Well, there you go. I didn't even realize that. I don't know why. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. You saved me a lot of space. Oh, so much space. So much time. Stand by. Alright, let's fill it up. We'll save... I'll, I'll get rid of one and put the... Fuck! I can't help it. I want to show you guys... I gotta show you guys this. I'm gonna get rid of one cargo space. I mean, one passenger space so I can add that fighter jet back in there. I just have to do it once. I have to do it. Fighter hangar, let's do it. Let's get crazy. It hurts to look back at your past mistakes in it. Absolutely. I know, I always look back at the whole 50 hours spent in the Sidewinder wondering how to play the game. It was, ho it was horrible, it was hurtful, it was hard to play. It took me a long time to learn anything. A very long time. I spent a lot of time just dri driving around and, and, and doing crazy stuff like this. I managed, you notice I've managed to find all the hot chicks in the game. <laughs> Be right <laughs> back. A hot female is so rare in this game, I gotta say. It's a rare commodity. Usually you'd be hit up with people that look like dykes and stuff, short hair and stuff, but these ones look pretty. So let's put her in. She's an expert. She's now active as part of my crew team, so we've got her whacked in. And I got the fighter jet put in, right? And now we just need some passengers. And we're ready to gear. Please stand by. This is getting longer every time. Pace yourself. Pause it and let's reflect upon our journey. Alright, so we got a serious atmospheric for two million three hundred bucks. I'll wait, there's a two million five hundred one under here with that. Let's take that one. Hey oh, yes. Hello Hunted Folly. W welcome buddy, how are you? Do you still play this? What's cracking? Oh wow, look at that one. There's one here for two million seven hundred folly. Two 
two million seven hundred eighty-five. Let's grab that one real quick. It would be crazy not to. I need to get back into this game. Yeah, well, there's just been an update uh, yesterday, I believe, or the day before. So, yeah, there's some new ships, some new stuff to do. Check it out. Get involved. I'll be playing this week. I like this game um, a lot. In back. I haven't really even been on my PS4 much, but I have this on PC and can play it in VR. Wow. I, yeah, I was going to say, if you, you've got a PC build, then yeah, VR would be the way to go. Alright, let's take these missions. So let's uh, go to my bookmarked mission tab. Which I find is I'm easy jealous. to do. Yeah, me too. I, I would love to play this in VR, guys. Hey, Seraphim, if you have a decent PC, check out a free game on Steam called Dishet. Deceit? 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 Dishet. Okay, I'll check that out. It's been a while since I've been in Steam, though. But, um, yeah, I'll crack it open and have a look. Thanks, Fall. Is it a space, a space game? Or similar? Oh, I like space games, guys. Alright, let's go. Now this thing is so agile, guys, compared deceit. to the cutter. It's deceit. Okay, cool. I can spell. And I can't read, so we make a good couple, don't we? Don't we, buddy? Landing coupler disengaged. All right, I'm just gonna set off my boosters real quick. No, it's a multiplayer game where two players are secretly infected monsters, and all the players are trapped in the dark. Everything flips on thrusters better than a cutter. Yeah, I like the cutter. Sorry, I'm on my mobile phone. Sorry, guys, I'm the cool kid playing with the phone. Alright, let's go. Look how agile this thing is, oh my god. Also, five zero hours in a winder. Took me four or five minutes to get to a eagle in another hour after that to get a viper and upgraded. Well, I was Infected on a very slow PC. Players have to though. drink blood bags without being spotted, then kill the innocent players while the lights are out. <laughs> right? No, but for me, I, I spent that much time because I spent a lot of the time, a lot of the time, uh, trying to figure out the keys for the keyboard and trying to convert it over to the PS4 controller, which I successfully did, and then a few months later they did it anyway. So I was a little pissed off about that. Um, but a lot of the time I spent in, um, yeah, just key bindings, to be honest. Like, hours and hours trying to work out how this game worked. Before I even, you know what I mean? Uh oh. Yeah, so, I don't know, it was hard to use with the mouse and all that, and I ended up finally getting it working with the controller, but my PC was so slow too, so it was um, very laggy, it was almost impossible to play. Came out in the I PS4 spent way too uh, much, much time in this game literally just not knowing what to do. Yeah, me too. I think well, a lot of it's do. easy to play Elite using the controller. It is. I actually have no problem playing it with the DualShock. I can pretty much do everything I do now. Um, I, I, I did get very comfortable quickly with the Hoda, so, but I can switch back to the um, DualShock no problem and pretty much feel pretty damn comfortable, actually, because I can... I miss it, actually, because I used to be able to play this game laying down. That's how bad I got. I didn't even have to sit up for this, but um, now I have to sit up real straight. I end up running nothing but really safe delivery or salvage missions, then yeah, me I too. get bored and get off. Yeah, I do that for a while <coughs> as well. Alright, let's um, warp this bitch. Come on, guys. These bubble cockpits are wasted on us 2D players. Yeah, I know, I, I know. It's a waste. No. It would be great in VR though, I could imagine standing up and feeling like you're actually standing around on a planet or walking around your cockpit. It's pretty cool. 
I've seen people do that on PC. I'm yeah, very jealous. I don't so. understand why they haven't added VR support for the PS4 yet. Well, they said if they didn't want to. Um, what do they call it? They didn't want to. I ran Pyrus with my Corvette and blast them with multi cannon Pu'al Weir. I'd be happy if they cut some quality of the game just to make it work for VR, but they don't. They reckon they could. They wouldn't do it unless it worked smoothly and all that, so they must have some uh, technical issues. And therefore, probably not even they're probably not even working on it now, though. But I'm not sure. It's a crying shame. I think Sony should support them and do something about it. Uh, if I was Sony, I'd call them up and be like, "Hey, uh, get to work. Here's a million bucks. That's all they had to do." VR costs one nine nine here. And then after that, after they could make it work and make more than a million dollars back. I would pay 20, 30 bucks for the PS4 DLC. is limited for VR processing power, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. You know, I had an idea around that. I figured, why don't they just focus on making the uh, cockpit in VR, but the backdrop, the, the stars and everything outside of the cockpit, just in 360 degrees, saving a lot of power right there. Like, none of the, the, the surroundings have to be in VR at all. It could just be an illusion of VR, just in a 360 degree panoramic. But the only thing they could make the quality really high in the cockpit, and therefore we wouldn't even know the difference. Like you would notice the difference, but it wouldn't be. It'd still be playable, and it'd be really fun. There's so many things they could do to make it work. Well, with the textures, you know, I'd be happy with that. Make the words bigger. I don't know. But the coding, it must be really hard for them to do because it changes the whole game. So I understand why they probably can't do it, and especially when they update the game. It probably won't run well on VR afterwards, and that would limit their They team. have to ride for PS4 compatibility, so the Pro is Hinder X. Hindered. The Pro, yeah, from the, from the original, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'd love to know exactly what happened there. Frameshift drive charging. Alright, I think we're fast enough. We've made it to 80 miles per hour. We're ready to charge. Sometimes I forget to warp, and that's a very strange thing, but I do it sometimes when I'm live streaming. Yeah, I like the inside of this cockpit. You can see the wires. So we should release an external processing of entire thing somehow. Yeah, that's a good idea, but it would exclude a lot of developers and gamers. That you attach to your console and it makes it stronger. Yeah, that's a good point. It'd work. I even thought putting an extra camera in the USB just to have more tracking would be a cool update. So if you have two PS4 cameras, you can just whack them both in, you'd have like eight cameras. Because they're both stereo cameras, and you could have one either side of your TV and you get more tracking, that'd be cool. But yeah, I don't know. We just have to wait for PS5, I reckon. And then um, we'll be good. Would be good. One zero jumps left to Rubigo. Or just get on with release the PS5 LOL. Exactly what I say. Yeah, exactly. But if they did sell an extra box, I'd buy it though, straight up. I think a lot of people would. It, they could call it the Elite Dangerous Box or some shit, and it would be exclusive. Just a little bit more processing power. Plug it in, whack it in. I don't know. Virtual Station Elite. It'd be the sickest game though. It'd get so popular. And if they added um, uh, space legs as well, which is the ability to walk around the planet and hold a gun, they can make um, battle royales in this the game. The uh, they'd be grind. Battle royale has to happen. An entire in home space console game. designed to only be used in VR. That's actually a, a fantastic idea, like a VR exclusive machine. Like Reality Station. Yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be like PlayStation 6 VR station or something, and it'd be like, it'll come with the treadmill. That'd be sick. And a bit of cheese at the end of it. That'd be, yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, we're half a jump away from so this. Damn, I took my sweet ass time this time around, didn't I, guys? Mm. 
Look at that thing. It's a beautiful ship. It's a nice ship. It's a flat looking, it's a weird looking ship. Um, but I really just like the cockpit. If they whacked a cockpit like that in a different ship, I'd buy that ship. What about the Virtual Boy? In the Virtual Boy? Yeah, that red thing. Yeah, that's cool. I'd call it the sleep machine. It would be like something you wear when you're asleep and it wakes you up in the middle of the night in REM Coming sleep. Coming in 2030, Microsoft and Sony team up to create the most powerful home console ever designed. I've had that exact the same Playbox thought. The Playbox Reality Station. Yeah, it'd be like Player One or something. Yeah, for sure. That'd be sick. I've had those thoughts too. I'm like, why don't they just work together? Put their differences aside. Think of the people. They don't do it though. They'll never do it. Will they? Won't they? Will they or won't they? We don't know yet. Maybe in the future. Yeah, one ultimate fucking box for every human. And everyone gets one when you're born for free. And it grows when you grow. Micro oh, Sony. That'd be amazing. You just add to it. Get the most powerful machine ever made by Microsoft Sony Corporation. Sony Soft. And Nintendo uh, kind of helped as well. With the spare parts. You know, they all came together one day. Atari, all the characters came together. Imagine Elite in VR on a acid trip. No, what we need, guys, is an AI making consoles for people. Like, a really smart AI, uh, artificial intelligence making games and software. That'd be sick! Nintocrini. Yeah, Nintocrini. <laughs> Nintendo Crini. Yeah, that'd be sick. You just plug your spinal cord into it. You just have a hole in your back and you just like sit into it and that'd be sick. Dream Machine, made by Sega, Sony, Nintendo. Yeah, they'll never get on, will they? They always have to fight over shit, like... I would love full dive VR. Sega does what Nintendo did. Nintendo didn't. Sega... I forgot to fucking shift. You guys, a, a, a great distraction. Thanks. Can for joining. you imagine playing Battlefield of Call of Duty, but being there? Yeah, that'll be like a Iraq. It'd be horrible. Imagine if games got so real that people just couldn't play some of them. That would be like off limits. You'd go, nah, that one hurts way too much. You want to know what a spinal snap is like? Play this game. No thanks. I'll be right. Well, I don't even I've think I'll play Space to bed now. Be scary. Well, nice sweet scary. dreams, buddy. Um, I'll also, see Also, it feels like you are talking about an episode of Black Mirror. I haven't seen that yet, but uh, that sounds interesting. But how can I see if my eyes aren't even real, man? How can I see if my eyes aren't even real? You guys. See you later. See you, bud. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye, McFly. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I just feel Nothing like... Nothing is real but ends. Seraphim. M.O.T. Red Heart. Our tanks. You guys, keep me warm. It's very cold here in Australia right now. It's like borderline snowing down here in the desert. It's freaking freezing. Uh, so, thanks. And one day, I'll repay that. Because you guys are all in the summer right now, you guys don't care. But when it's winter and you guys are cold and crying, I'll be here to warm you guys up with a hot cup of warm seraphim cocoa. Which literally melts in your mouth because it's so hot, it burns the fuck out of your tongue. And melts that too. But I'll be making a cocoa. Guys, there's a tea out that I'm drinking at the moment. Oh, I haven't had any yet, but I'm going to heavily promote it. I forget what it's called. But it's a tea that makes you smarter when you play games, apparently. Um, but I'll uh, hit you guys up on that too. No joke. I don't know what. A, I, I, yeah, I'll make a video on that separate. Stick around for that. Um, smash the like button. I'm about to do this mission right here, and then I'm just gonna sort of float around the Earth planet and. Seraphim cocoa end. sounds very spicy. It's got a little bit of chili in it and some jalapenos uh, mixed up inside. Don't tell the wife. Um, yeah, you know what? I think a seraphim cocoa would go down well right now the hot steam. Alright, here we go. We're at so Why is it taking so long, Seraphim? This has taken 20 minutes to do this mission. Uh, I think I'm heavily influenced at this point. Mm. 
I ain't doing the loop of shame tonight. No, sir, Bob. Alright, here we go. Where are you, serious atmospherics? Because I need my cash. Four jumps. Was that four jumps, guys? No shit. I didn't realize that. So it's not three jumps in this ship. Damn. I didn't even notice that. I forgot to count. Thanks for keeping me on the ball. I thought you'd left. Wait. Wait. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Um, I'm glad you can join me on a second run. This is a 24-hour stream. That's right, I'm here all day. Here we go. Nope, I have four jumps left for me. Oh, for you to get to... Oh, I gotcha. Cool, cool. You're nearly at my house. Well, that's pretty damn close, actually. I am in solo mode at the moment, and I was going to end the stream pretty soon, but next time I'm on, I'll just jump into the open, and I'll uh, make another stream, and if you're there, let me know. In the next stream, I'll be online, so you guys can hang out with me at Robolocolo, whatever that is. Uh, it's at the beginning of the video. Robo Robocop. Yeah, I love this game, guys. It's such a good game. I always enjoy it when I play it. You know what I like to do, too, is put Spotify on and listen to some epic 80s music classics okay. while I play the game. Yeah, yeah, we should play together. We should do it. If everyone meets up at that place, um, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll uh, do a stream. Uh, if you have me on PSN, uh, you can always hit me up. It's Seraphim190 on the PlayStation. Uh, just add me as a friend, and... Um, I'm at Rubigo with the Cutter and Anaconda. Sweet. And don't shoot me, Mur. Please don't shoot me, Mur. Because I don't want to have to shoot back, bruh. And I've got guns for days. Nah, I don't know. I'm not that strong. I have not real been in a real battle, guys. I'm, I'm, I've never punched anybody, so... Yeah, I've done Kung Fu, but I never had to use it. What a waste of money. So I've got these I ships... I need to shoot you a friend request. I see what you did there. Yeah, alright. I'll, uh, shield... I'll accept your friend request with my, uh... I'll just... I'll accept it. Alright, here we go. Let's collect some cash. Look at the boosters! I have wow. more guns than you guys. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you guys. Alright, let's see how many jumps that really was. Uh, not that I don't believe you guys, but... I need to see it with my own eyes. Because how can I see if my eyes aren't real, guys? Does anyone know what that means? I do. I actually know what that means. And it's scary, because no one else actually knows. And they think it's silly, but it's not silly. He's true, because the eyes aren't actually real. He's right. It's in the mind. It's all in the mind. The brain's not... Nothing's real. The whole thing's a dream. So how can you see it all? That's a good question, mister. It's a good question... What's his name? I forget his name. He's got dreadlocks. I don't know. He's just a kid. We guys leave him alone. Alright, so we're going to Hughes' Reach. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go, check this out. Please stop in existentially fragile. <coughs> I can't deploy that yet. Alright, let's see how many jumps that is. Four jumps, oh my god, it is four jumps, Fudge. That sucks. Oh yeah, once I get back to Robocoli, um, I'm LOL. gonna shoot my ship Those out. engines sound sick. And we'll test the ship. Yeah, they do. They sound amazing. Every time I play this game, I take note of these amazing moments because I really want to recreate some sort of game like this. Similar, but I want it to be very different for some reasons. Uh, samurai reasons, but it's going to be a very nice game. Alright, let's head to this place. Actually, let's test out our ship right here.
no we can't, we're still in super cruise, you fool. Alright, let's just go home. Okay, we're three- OH FUCK! I, oh wait, wait, I got no power. I'm heading to Hauser's Reach. Guys. No, 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 no. I made a mistake. We gotta go back, cause I don't have a fuel scoop, and I got no fuel. So, I nearly fucking killed everybody here tonight. I apologize to everybody watching tonight, but the stream's not gonna end yet because I, I really got a fuel. And I got no fuel. Fudge, mahudge, fudge, mahudge. Oh, fudge. What have I done? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, fudge. Wait, can I go? Oh, fuck. Can we go back here? Can I reach it? On station? I gotta fuel up the fuel! Or I'm not gonna get anywhere, so... Let's go. That was lucky, I nearly killed everybody. Call the fool rats. Yeah, Nelly. Nelly had to. If I went one more, two more steps further, I probably would've been screwed. I'm not sure. I might've made it. I don't know. But, uh, you know, you never... I don't think I would've. I've never had to call the fuel rats, but I nearly have. Nelly, one time. In the beginning days, I used to have to self-destruct a fair amount. I mean, look at all the wiring in this game. So much detail, and it's just freaky. Alright, here we go. Oh, Dawn. I guess we'll end the video at New Dawn Station. I really wish we could change the HUD color. I like orange, though, to, to be honest. I don't mind. But I would like to try out an aqua or a blue. Um, I think it's Obsidian N that gets to play with the colors. Uh, everyone can do it. You c if you have it on PC, you can just go into the coding and change it around. Um, that's what people do. But if they had a blue-red-green format where you could change it yourself, it'd be really cool. And they could even put it here in your functions red, green, blue section, R, B, G, right here, and you can turn it up or down. Very simple. Could have done it, but they never did, and they never will. Why? That's the question. I have a conspiracy for you. Orange keeps you warm enough to play long enough. I think orange is what holds people to this game. I think orange is the secret hypnotizing color they use to make this game make people play longer, and I think that's how sick they are. That's how far they've gone. Uh, to hypnotize us and to control us, so that's why they won't change the color. If I'm right, God damn it, you guys stop. Let us have our freedoms back. Let us decide how long we want to play a game for. You sick men. You sick damn boring men. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> my rant for the day. But that's that's definitely a conspiracy right there. That they want it to be orange on purpose. Why else haven't they changed it? Follow the money, guys. Conspiracies everywhere. Okay, that's the end of conspiracy time. Back to back to normal seraphim time. Hi guys, what's up? I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. We're nearly at the New Dawn station. Which and where I'm gonna land the ship. Look at a ship. Marvel of it. Drool a little bit and end the stream for you guys at home. Which is the most exciting part of the whole video. So, why would you leave? Alright, here we go. Oh no, loop of shame, you fool. I'm a fool, rat. Damn it. Here we go, we're slowing down now. Nice. I just did a tailspin. Okay, that's how you slow down sometimes. Alright, here we go. Orange is co the color, guys. It's conspiracy.
Holy fuck, am I actually flying this ship right now? What the fuck am I doing? Oh shit, I just missed that thing. Alright, let's land in the station real quick like this and see if we can, um... I have no clue what I'm doing right here. Right. In docked all safely now. We're nearly in. We're nearly in the hole. We're just gonna get through this tiny little hole. Oh, Kraken. Slow down, buddy. Fuck that. Alright, so here we go. Landing in the gas and beautiful times. Thanks for joining guys. I had an epic time. Um, here I will get fuel and I will return home on the next one. Uh, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you've just remembered, I like and thrive off like buttons and subscriptions. So make it happen. Make it account. Sometimes I yell at the top of my lungs and I feel like no one can hear me screaming. So thanks for watching. <laughs> No one can hear you screaming. What the fuck am I doing? <coughs> Wait. Is it? No one's in that seat. Can your seat do this?